All right, so I uh, got a couple new things today as far as a new project that I'm working on. So what you see here is going to be used to make a kind of a cam trolley so I can string it up and have like uh, continuous footage or a long shot line for my videos but I also got this 64 gig memory card to go along with this guy here so stay tuned and we're going to show you how to uh, make that trolley cam out of these components alright so what we have here are the two mounts that came with the GoPro one is a curved mount and one is a flat mount we're going to use the flat mount now what I have here is just a piece of plastic this is from a 20 ounce soda bottle and we're going to use that cut it out in the rough shape of the mount bottom and I'll show you what we're going to do with that so we'll go ahead and start with this we're going to push this all the way down and we're going to take our sharpie we're just going to trace a line as close as we can to the mount. So, once you've got that, we're going to cut on the inside of the line around. Uh, and you'll see why in a little bit. So you should have very little of the black left. You can see I still have a little bit of it so we can trim that up. Because really we want it as close to that mount as we can get it. Alright, so the next thing you need is a sharp knife. What we're going to do is we are going to cut a T pretty much right down the middle and you'll see why in just a second.
So what you're left with, after you've made the T on the bottom, is a groove. for a ratchet or a tie down strap or a zip tie. So what you're left with once you have the T cut in the bottom is a groove for your tie down strip. So now what we're going to do is peel the adhesive off and then push this firmly against the edge and then we can trim the rest of the that off. So. Alright, so once all that is done, now what we're going to do is take our um, back cover that we've made, line it up as close as we can, and then we're going to just push down on it. firmly. We should have no pockets. But now what we have is a back that we can stick a zip tie through. Then we can tie this to whatever we need to. So now we have a back that we can stick a zip tie through. Unsecure to whatever we need. All right, so now that you've got your mount, what I'm going to do. These are just two T-plates I bought. They're in the fencing section of Lowe's. Uh, over by where like, they keep the mailbox numbers and whatnot. And then these screen door sliders with the hardware. Same place. So, what we're going to do take these two and we're going to stick we're going to undo the hardware that came with it we're going to take one stick it through stick the pulley on it take the other one place on it like that and then tighten this back up and you can use some Loctite or whatever you want and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side Then we'll get a screwdriver and tighten those up. And then
Then what we're going to do, once we have that done, is take our zip tie, stick it through, grab our mount, go through the long end, like so. Then you should have something like this. And take this through this end. And we're just gonna zip tie it. Zip it up tight. 